Hi all, this is Animesh and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about Kruskal Wallace test. So we are going to see what is a Kruskal Wallace test, then we'll see when to use this test, we'll understand it with an example and we will see its assumptions, we'll create a hypothesis and then we will do the implementation of Kruskal Wallace test using Python. So let's begin. So Kruskal Wallace test is also known as edge test and you will also see that in some places it is also called one way ANOVA on ranks. So what is a Kruskal Wallace test? It is a non-parametric hypothesis test that compares three or more independent groups. It is basically used to determine that if there is a statistically significant difference between the medians of three or more independent groups. So Kruskal Wallis test is a non-parametric test which is equivalent to one-way ANOVA test. We will discuss about this in a short while. Meanwhile, we will discuss when to use this test. So this test is a test between the numerical data versus categorical data that we have a data of three vaccines a b and c and these vaccines we need to know how effective they are so we have a data of number of days in which the individuals got complete immunization with their respective vaccines so let's take example for the first vaccine vaccine a so this individual got complete immunization in 30 days and the other got 40 then the other got complete immunization in 28 days and so forth so similarly we have a data of vaccine b and vaccine c so this is a typical example of data where we can apply Kruskal Wallis test this is also known as an alternative test to ANOVA test. Now for finally deciding whether this data is suitable for Kruskal Wallis test or not, we need to understand its assumptions. So let's jump into its assumptions. So its first assumption says that each sample is not a normally distributed data. That means, for example, the sample of vaccine A, vaccine B and vaccine C are not normally distributed. These are skewed data. And how are we going to test this? So there are tests for normality, which I have described in my other video. You can check that out. There are certain tests which gives us this information with a certain confidence. Now, the second assumption says that the selection of samples is independent of each other group. And the third assumption says that the data should be either ordinal data or it can be a continuous data that can be ranked because Kruskal Wallis test is based on using the rank of the data for calculating the chi-square value or the statistics. Now let's move on to creation of the hypothesis. Now in our case first we will create the null hypothesis as the vaccine A, B, C are equally effective. This means in other words population median of all the vaccines are equal. And our alternative hypothesis would be vaccine A, B and C are not equally effective. That is population median of all the vaccines are not equal. So in other words, in simple language, we are going to test whether the distributions of vaccine A, B and C are same or not. Now let's jump into its application using Python. So now we have our data in this Jupyter notebook and we have 
all the values of vaccine A, vaccine B and vaccine C in number of days. Here you will see that vaccine A has only 6 values, vaccine B has 8 values and vaccine C has 5 values. So there can be a difference in number of elements within each group. So that's not a problem with this test. Secondly, we are going to use the SciPy stats library and we are going to import the Kruskal function to get the stats and the p-values. So I'm going to execute these and once I execute Kruskal and inside the parentheses I give the variables vaccine A, vaccine B, vaccine C which are nothing but the data of the number of days in the list format and execute this I get the statistics as 6.27 and p-value as 0.043 this means that if we have set the threshold of 5% then it is less than that threshold this means that this test gives the p-value which does not have enough confidence to reject null hypothesis hence in this case we are going to reject null hypothesis and we are going to go with the alternative hypothesis which is that the vaccines a b c are not equally effective that means the population median of all the vaccines are not equal had it been the case where the p-value is greater than 0 0.05 that means it is greater than the alpha that we have set 0.05 or 5% then in that case we would have gone with the null hypothesis that is we fail to reject null hypothesis and in that case it will be that vaccines a b and c are equally effective so this was it about Kruskal Wallace test I hope you guys got the idea the crux of Kruskal Wallace test and I will be uploading more such videos so please do subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss on anything I'll see you in the next video bye bye